Hi everyone, welcome to another What I Eat in a Day as a Gluten-Free Vegan. So I started with a super delicious breakfast that I actually tried the first time this week and have eaten every day since. It's baked oats and it's so good. So just set the oven on 175 Celsius degrees and mix rolled oats, one pitted date, a half big banana or a mini banana as I had, some cardamom, cinnamon and a pinch of salt. Then also add some unsweetened almond milk and also some baking powder. Just blend it all together until smooth and transfer it all to a baking form. I topped it with some extra sunflower seeds just for some extra crunch. Then just put it in the oven. So now we're gonna let this one bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. And of course we also want some fruit to this. So I grabbed some kiwi from the fridge and I just love kiwi and it's a perfect start on the day with some vitamin C. I peeled it, chopped it and then I also added some pomegranate because it's so good. Then the baked oats was ready to take out from the oven. It's so quick, easy and tastes like a cake. Seriously, this one smells so good. You have to try this one. Then I started to add the fruit to a plate, the pomegranate, the kiwi and also some coconut cream. Then this colorful breakfast was ready to be served. Then it was time for lunch and I decided to make some chickpea curry sandwiches. So easy, quick and healthy if you don't have so much time. I chopped up some washed leek and added it to a skillet with some olive oil, salt and pepper. You can also add a little bit of water to make it more soft. Then I chopped up some veggies, some cucumber, some cherry tomatoes and also some carrot sticks to have on the side. Then I added some chickpeas on a plate and started to mash them. I like when it's some chickpea clumps left, but that's optional. Then for some extra creaminess, I added white tahini, curry powder, garlic powder, chili flakes and also some salt. Add the leek and mix it all together. For some extra freshness, I also added some lemon juice to this chickpea curry mash. Then I toasted my homemade gluten-free carrot bread, baked with some crushed buckwheat. It's so good. And this bread recipe can be found in my upcoming ebook that I hopefully will publish very soon. I'm so excited. I also chopped up some coriander and avocado. Then it was time to add all these good toppings to the toasted bread, starting with the curry mash. Then I added the avocado, the cucumber, tomatoes. The carrots on the side and the fresh coriander on the top. A perfect sandwich according to me. Then I'm actually going to show you what I did after lunch. As you may know, it's really, really cold here in Sweden during winter and for a very long time. In Uppsala, one hour from where I live in Stockholm, there's a tropical greenhouse with lots of very cool plants. And the climate in there feels like being in the jungle. So it's a little break from the very hard cold weather and it was very nice and I enjoyed it really much. Uppsala is, by the way, a great place to visit if you come to Sweden and Stockholm. So, with some new energy, back to the food at home later that day. It was time for a quick snack. 
I chopped up some banana and also added some lovely crunchy peanut butter with some salt on the top. I also felt like having a warm drink, so I made myself a kuva matcha with half oat milk, half almond milk. I actually love to mix these two kinds of plant milk. And later it was time to make some dinner and I had some leftovers in the fridge I had to use, some cooked pasta and a lovely sauce. I started to chop up some orange bell pepper and also some cherry tomatoes. Then I added some olive oil in the skillet and added the bell pepper and the tomatoes in there together with some salt, garlic powder and black pepper. I love to eat broccoli raw with some lemon juice on it so I chopped up some broccoli for that. It's so crunchy and good and I also added some salt to it. And then the leftover sauce which I showed you in my last video as well but this one is so good. It's made of white beans, cashews, basil, garlic, lemon and also some spices. I will leave the recipe in the description again. So I added the sauce in some leftover brown rice macaroni and cooked it on low heat. And yeah, I also prepared some green peas. I added the creamy pasta into a bowl and then added the wonderful bell pepper and tomatoes, the green peas, the broccoli and some hemp seeds on the top. I really love creamy pasta bowls. So that was a day of food in my life and I hope you got some gluten-free vegan inspiration. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I hope to see you in the next video.